part of being a really clear and good communicator is to kind of follow up and make sure everyone is on the same page. So here's something I want you to get into the habit of doing. It will make your life so much easier and it has personally saved me from getting into hot water or getting out of a sticky situation on multiple, multiple occasions. And it's something that really comes from my training as a litigation attorney. So I thought I would share it just in case you are not a litigation attorney. What I typically like to do is if I have a verbal communication or conversation with someone, I follow it up in writing with a, either a text or usually an email if it's somebody officially in the school, just to kind of reiterate and say, this was, it was so great to talk with you today. This is what we talked about. This is my understanding. Hope to see you again. Look forward to, you know, working with you. What, however you want to sign off. It doesn't have to be, this is a covering my butt kind of email, but essentially that's what it is. And it, but really it not only like covers your butt in case something happens, so you can point back to this email and be like, you knew about this or I we got on the same page and you didn't respond, but it shows that you are a good communicator and it just really helps to keep everybody with a, the same understanding because when you write to someone and confirm the details, then they have the opportunity to go, well, that wasn't my understanding or this is what I'd like to change or whatever, but it will make your position clear so that they can't be like, well, you didn't tell me that. So this has helped me out so many times in the PTO world because like most recently, we my PTA was sharing a concession space with the Athletic Boosters, another parent group organization, and we had made it clear that they could not use any of our equipment, and we actually removed our equipment, and then the day of the season that they were taking care of, so we were doing fall, they were doing winter, um, they asked to use our equipment, and I said, oh, you know, happy first day of concessions for you. I'm so sorry, our equipment is unavailable for use. Well, they went ahead and used it anyway, and it didn't it took a couple months for it to get back to us that they had been using our equipment. So then I was able to go back to that email and I sent it to the principal and the superintendent. And I was like, dude, what are these people doing? I totally made it clear that our equipment was unavailable for use. It's right here. So that when I had the meeting with the principal, the superintendent and the athletic director, I could be like, it was all here. It was all here. And he looked like a fool and he actually got in a little bit of trouble, he being the athletic director. But anyway, it saved me having to be like a he said, she said, because it was in writing. So there are many other occasions when this could come into play to really help you as a PTO leader, whether it's a disagreement with your principal, whether it's a disagreement with a fellow executive board member, or even just a volunteer, just by papering it creating that paper trail. Again, something that comes from my uh, legal training, but it, everybody can benefit from this. Now, what kind of conversations do you need to document? I would recommend anybody who has a sticky personality, if you know what I mean, like somebody who tends to cause issues or there there are just like problems with them if they don't know how to play nicely with others, for sure document things. And you don't have to document every little thing. You're gonna use your judgment because the first time you get burned, then you're gonna learn what you need to do and you might be a little more cautious. It's just a good practice, I think. It just, I think it's kind of respectful too because people, when you have a conversation with them, they might be distracted, they might, be like on the way to do something else and you're just catching them and they might forget the details. So really, it, it's not just about covering your booty. It it goes beyond to really keep everybody on the same page because that is the ultimate goal. Because ultimately, ultimately, you're trying to get rid of any potential issues, right? Because you want the smoothest experience possible. Who likes drama trauma? No one, <laughs> pretty much nobody. Clarity is key when it comes to communication and following up in writing with an email or a text with whoever you just had a conversation with is a great way to ensure that. Happens. Want even more guidance on how to be a stronger leader so you can run a better PTO or PTA? All of these resources and more are waiting for you at ptoanswers.com.